Don DiGiulio founded the No Name Players in 2004 with its debut play, Big Love. The Post-Gazette said, wow, and wow again. City Paper echoed with, the entire experience can be summed up with that one word, wow. In 2005, actress Tressa Glover became managing director. City Paper called No Name Players' recent production, Breaking Up, directed by Don and starring Tressa, real life happening in front of us, rather than a rehearsed reality of actors' tricks. This March, Don and Tressa will be hosting Swan Day, a celebration of Pittsburgh's women artists. Thanks for joining us, Don and Tressa. Thank you Thanks for having, having us. us. <laughs> for, those of, uh, for those who might not be familiar with, with the event, what is Swan Day? Swan Day, uh, Swan stands for Support Women Artists Now Day, um, a relatively new international holiday started by two women filmmakers in Chicago just to honor women artists all around the world. Um, so it's in its fourth year, this year will be its fourth year, uh, and so this is our way, No Name Players, to be a part of that and, and celebrate you know, the work that women artists are doing. Great. Uh, what inspired you to start an annual Swan Day celebration in Pittsburgh? Um, well, when we had heard about it, uh, we were actually living in Chicago when we first heard of Swan Day, mm. and it stuck in the back of our heads, like, wow, we would, what could we do? Let's, let's remember this. What could we do what, you know, to produce something? And so um, we thought about it, and we said, well, instead of making it theater artists, what if we expanded it and we tried to involve as many different artists from as many different disciplines as possible and get all these artists on the same stage and doing all this fabulous work that they do, um, and let's focus it on what's happening in Pittsburgh, because there's so much happening. Um, and so that's kind of what got the wheels turning, like what could we put together and bring these people together. Mm -hmm. And Don, what is your perspective on Swan Day from the male point of view? Male point of view, um, it's fascinating to me to, to see. Um, the new element we added this year is we interviewed women all around the city of Pittsburgh to talk about the, what's on their minds, what they love, what they hate, what they fear. And we condensed all that footage down from 28 hours down to about wow. 50 minutes. <laughs> and we sent that off to this year's participating artists, and they're creating all new original works for this year. Um, and I was able to film all of the interviews. And it's amazing um, how similar hmm. you all are, despite um, different backgrounds, different histories, different places that you come from. You all share common thoughts, common goals, and it's... It's very cool to watch. I don't want to give away too much, but um, what were some of the themes that you found uh, that were consistent? Oh, um, well, I think, interesting, um, as far as motherhood, children, mm -hmm. actually split one vein or the other. Hmm. Um, we had a, there, a very common sentiment of, I don't ever want to have children, and... People think there's something wrong with me because I don't. What do I do with that? But I really am realizing I don't. Mm -hmm. And then the, which tends to, I think, be more common at least what you would think mm -hmm. is the women that are mothers and how much, um, and talking about their lives and how once you have children, mm -hmm. how that changes your life and how. So that, uh, it was interesting, the similarities over there were those two, but very specific veins, but um, the theme in general came up one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Even without prompting being huh. needed, one way or another, a conversation would turn that way whichever way it went, but it was about, because for women, one way or the other, you deal with that issue. Whether you yes. become a mother or never do, it's something that you have to talk about at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that was, that was a big one. Yeah. Um, and, or, relationships. Uh, I was going to say relationships, friendships. The friendships, hmm. you know, romantic relationships, they're all, you know, mm -hmm. recurring themes. And it's interesting, if I may, part of what... Um, inspired this idea of wanting to interview women was <clears throat> when we were living in Chicago, I was walking down the street and there were these two women in front of me about my age talking about the type of guys that they like. And oh, I like a guy who's you know attractive but not too attractive. And they were talking and I thought, I've had this conversation in all the different cities I've lived in. I know friends who've had this conversation. And that was the kind of the impetus of like, we're all so much more alike <clears throat> than we realize or talk mm -hmm. about sometimes. Mm -hmm. We're obviously different. We obviously have different backgrounds. But when it comes down to it, we're all thinking and feeling and talking about the same stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's what inspired the idea of let's get women talking mm -hmm. and then have these artists create pieces using that. Don, were there any surprises uh, in this 28 hours that you were like, huh, <laughs> I would have never thought that? <laughs> uh, the, the woman that admitted to still sucking her thumb. 
uh, without, I'm not giving any names away. Uh, that was interesting to me. Um, yeah. The moms that aren't necessarily happy about being moms. Hmm. That was interesting. So you really got to some yeah. truth and some we did. deep matter. We did, yeah. We really did. And, and each session took on its own life. I mean, there were, you know, we had certain questions as a springboard. Mm -hmm. Like, here are some things, but it could go anywhere it wanted to go. And each one had its own, it really had its own life. And how, and even the dynamics, some groups, um, some of the women knew each other, some groups, they were all strangers. So, and it was surprising. Some of the groups of all strangers ended up so closely bonded by the mm -hmm. end as if they had known each other. And, and it was just amazing to see what topics came up, what they wanted to talk about, what, whatever, what that group tended to lean towards, mm -hmm. wanting to talk about. It was really, it was fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us some about the artists who will be performing from this 53 minutes, you said? Yeah, it was a 53 minute segment. Um, well, playwrights, we got um, Tammy Ryan, uh, local Pittsburgh playwright, uh, Kim L, Anya Martin, and Robin Parrish. Um, so we got four plays that we'll be having. Uh, musicians, we have Addie Twig, um, Cheryl Ann Hawk. Um, feel free to chime uh, we in. We have Ime, I know there are so many. <laughs> we have Ime and Lauren Zurchin actually, yeah. and Addie will be performing together. Mm -hmm. um, and even directors. Um, we have Sheila McKenna, um, Marcy, Woodruff, Marcy Woodruff, Melissa Hill Grandy. Yeah, we got them. So, and then um, we have uh, Bodyography Contemporary Ballet. We have Dance Alloy Theater. Mm -hmm. We have Heather Ferry, who is a uh, master tap dancer. We in there. We have um, visual artists. We have fashion designers. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get everybody's names out there. I mean, there's there are just um, a ton of people. Mm -hmm. Great, <laughs> it's great. Um, I'd like to switch gears now and talk about no name players. Mm -hmm. What would you say your mission is? Well, I think it, it's a good segue because um, what we do with the Swan Day event actually fits right in with what I think the company's mission is. Um, we like to focus on the collaborative nature of the theater through ensemble. Mm -hmm. um, and it not only collaborative, meaning actors, designers, directors, but theater artists in general, and on the broader scale, artists within the community. Um, we try to branch out. We try to bring in and involve as much art as possible to, to just you know, um, the cross-pollination of the Pittsburgh art scene is fascinating to me. When we did Breaking Up, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, the play's in 11 scenes, and we sent each one of the scenes out to a uh, local visual artist, and they read the scene and then painted their response. Oh, cool. And those paintings were worked into the set. Oh, great. Uh, and it provided the backdrop for those specific scenes. Now, they, they weren't privy to the rest of the play. They had to focus <laughs> only on their scene and what mm -hmm. that made them feel. Um, so, you know, I, I think um, this project in its, in its third year is mm -hmm. kind of the epitome of the collaboration that we like to bring to the theater. Uh, for those of... For those who are familiar with No Name Players, they might know that you are married to each other. Mm -hmm. How does your relationship benefit the theater company? <laughs> <laughs> or should I say, uh, does I it benefit? No. no, I'm just kidding. It does. It does. It's, does. it's, it's, it's yeah. tough, because anyone who's ever been married or in a serious relationship knows that the, the people you're closest to are the people that you tend to take out the brunt of mm -hmm. your frustrations. <laughs> but on the positive side, we also finish each other's sentences. So, you know, it's, it's, that, it's a give and take. Um, and we know and where the other person is going. You know, like we, our qualities match up well because we're different. We work differently, mm -hmm. which is what makes it work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, our yeah. strengths, you know, are different. So that kind of creates the whole picture. Yes, but Tressa handles know. the organizational aspects uh, <laughs> well, much better than I do. And um, artistically, I, I kind of uh, maintain the reins. But we, especially for an event like Swan Day, we kind of, we're doing both at the same mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. we're, we're both just in there trying to make this work. And when you know where the other person's going, like I, I do know how he works and he knows how I work. So mm -hmm. you have an idea when, you, when you're producing and putting all this together, like how our, the other's brain works. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of, yeah. <laughs> you have an idea. Where do you see no name players going in the future? Where, we'd, where I'd like to see it go, I, I'd like to eventually have a permanent home here mm. in the city. I'd like to find a space. Um, right now, that's the most difficult aspect of um, our mission to produce mm -hmm. theater is locating a performance space. 
Um, we have a couple of spaces lined up for the summer. The shows are still to be determined, but we'll uh, be at Pittsburgh Playwrights in June and then in the uh, studio theater in the basement of the Cathedral of Learning for the end of July, early August. Still talking to some directors, waiting on some rights. Mm -hmm. So I can't say anything, but we at least have two spaces lined up for this summer. Um, but beyond that, it would be awesome to find a permanent home somewhere. That would be great. Um, but until then, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Great. Well, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck yeah. with Swan Day and your summer plans. No Name Players presents Swan Day 2011, a celebration of Pittsburgh's women artists, running Thursday, March 24th, and Friday, March 25th, at the New Hazlitt Theater. For tickets, visit them on the web at nonameplayers.org. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for having us.